According to the Rent Cafe's annual apartment market report, rents in June of 2019 were at 1465, which is almost a 3.2% increase from rents compared to last year. So if you were renting this year, you paid 45 more dollars than if you were renting last year. And significant cities that impacted this report were the San Francisco area, the Austin area, Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, and the Seattle area. And real estate experts speculate that these trends will continue and rents will continue to rise in 2020 and 2021. So if you live in these areas, it's time to get smart. So it's either time to get smart to get your own place to become a landlord because you can make some change and get decent rents, or it's a good, a great idea now to find a place for yourself to own and build equity. So if you're living in the East Bay, right now an average two bedroom apartment is almost touching $3,000. And if you're looking to rent a single family house that has three plus bedrooms, it's almost around $3,500 plus. What if I told you that in today's market, you can find a single bedroom, uh, single family three bedroom house that's almost 1400 square feet living area with a nice decent backyard for only $630,000. And if you were to do the math on that, well, let's just show you. Price is at 630, down payment only 5%, which equates to 31,500, and your PITI, which is principal interest taxes and insurance, is at $3,600. That's right, guys, you can own a property for $3,600. And when you become a homeowner, can't forget the bonus that in the Bay Area, properties appreciate 15% year over year. So if you looked at, looked at that on a 10 year scale, you would have built significant equity, which you'll never build while renting. Think about it, guys. It's definitely something to contemplate about. So if this video was insightful to you, please don't forget to share, like, and comment. And don't forget to follow us to stay on top of your real estate game. Until next time, this is Karan Singh with Optimal Homes.